Why do we get goosebumps? Goosebumps happen when tiny muscles at the base of our hair follicles contract, huh? causing hairs to stand up. This reflex, called pilotorection, is triggered by cold, fear, or strong emotions. It's a leftover survival mechanism from our furry ancestors. Raising hair helped them trap heat or appear larger to predators. In humans, though, it's mostly useless since we don't have thick fur. Goosebumps can also be linked to adrenaline spikes, like when we hear powerful music or experience intense feelings. Hmm. Why does our eye twitch? Firstly, stress and anxiety can cause eye twitching. Hmm. Secondly, not getting enough sleep can also cause eye twitching. Hmm. Thirdly, staring at a screen for long periods can also cause eye strain and twitching. Hmm. Fourthly, consuming too much caffeine can cause eye twitching. Hmm. Lastly, some medications can also cause eye twitching. Hmm. <laughs> Why do we get an eye sty? An eye sty develops when an oil gland near the eyelid becomes clogged and infected, typically due to bacteria like Staphylococcus. Poor hygiene habits, such as touching the eyes with unclean hands or using expired makeup, can contribute to its occurrence. The blockage traps oil and debris, creating a warm environment that fosters bacterial growth. As a result, the affected area becomes red, swollen, and painful. Mm. Why do our fingers wrinkle in water? Our fingers wrinkle in water due to an evolutionary adaptation controlled by our nervous system. When submerged, the skin's outer layer absorbs water and swells, but the underlying blood vessels constrict, creating the wrinkled effect. This process, regulated by the autonomic nervous system, improves grip on wet or submerged objects, an advantage for our ancestors when gathering food in aquatic environments. Huh? Unlike simple skin absorption, this wrinkling is an active response, suggesting it evolved for better dexterity. Hmm. Why do we get hiccups? Hiccups happen when the diaphragm, the muscle helping us breathe, suddenly contracts. This makes the vocal cords huh? close quickly, causing the hick sound. Common triggers include eating too fast, drinking carbonated drinks, swallowing air, stress, or sudden temperature changes. Hiccups usually go away on their own after a few minutes, but holding your breath, drinking water, or swallowing sugar can help stop them. Hmm. In rare cases, persistent hiccups may be a sign of a medical issue. Hmm. What exactly is gigantism? Gigantism is a rare condition caused by the overproduction of growth hormone in childhood, leading to abnormal growth of bones and tissues. It typically results from a benign tumor in the pituitary gland which controls hormone release. The overproduction of growth hormone stimulates excessive growth, causing individuals to grow much taller than average and have enlarged hands, feet, and facial features. If untreated, gigantism can lead to joint pain, cardiovascular problems, and other complications. <laughs> Why does our hair have split ends? Split ends happen when the protective outer layer of our hair, the cuticle, gets damaged, causing the inner fibers to fray. Once a hair strand splits, it can't be repaired, only trimmed. Lack of moisture and frequent washing with harsh shampoos can worsen the problem. To prevent split ends, minimize heat styling, avoid harsh brushing, and get regular trims. Can sneezing make our eyes pop out? No, sneezing won't make our eyes pop out. 
This myth likely comes from the intense pressure generated during a sneeze, but our eyes are well secured by strong muscles and the optic nerve. Even if we sneeze with our eyes open, they won't pop out. The body has built-in mechanisms to manage pressure changes safely. However, sneezing can cause minor side effects like burst blood vessels in the eyes or temporary vision disturbances. Hmm.